Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. Today's video is a haul video and it's got some MAC um, cosmetic stuff. It's got some TK Maxx stuff and it's also got um, what I ordered from the Amazon Prime Day. Prime Day. Um, so let's start first with the MAC cosmetic stuff. So let's start off with my MAC bits and pieces. I ended up making this online because um, I don't really I don't really have a Mac shop near me. I've got one that's open up near Lakeside um, but because I get home quite late it's a bit of a pain on the backside for me to go up, drive up there um, and there's not really many places. There's Selfridges um, at work but that's it really and to be honest with you that's always absolutely ramo and I can't stand it so I'd rather just do it online um, and just do it at my own leisure. So I ended up buying a few products. I was really interested in getting some more lipsticks because I've only got one. I've got that in the shade Plum or Plumful I think it's called. Plumful might be called that. Um, which is sort of like a pinky purpley and it's an everyday shade. It's a really beautiful shade. Um, I've got it over the top today um, and I really like that. I really like the formula. I really like the colour um, and I really like the smell and so I thought I'd order myself another couple of lipsticks. Um, so let's start off with them and the first shade that I got was called Angel. Um, and I have actually tried it out already. It's like a, um, it's just a pinky colour, like a really light pink, um, which is not unusual for me. Oh, actually, actually it's quite nice even now. Um, I do tend to go for this sort of colour, but upon application, I think because it's a, the finish is frost, it's just a little bit too light, and it's actually lighter than my lips, which doesn't look right. Um, I have, in actual fact, put it over the top of, patted it on top of um, a Maybelline crayon which is too pinky for me and it looks quite nice over the top of that and I ended up wearing that in my last empties videos um, so I can make it work for me but I'm a little bit disappointed with the shade of this um, because it's not something I'm going to be able to wear individually on its own. Um, the other shade that I got was called Brave which is a little bit more up a street and I think this is quite a popular shade actually because it's that Kylie Jenner nudie colour um, it's just sort of like a very tan nude um, pinky brownie um, and it's got a satin finish so just a normal matte finish um, and I really like that I've used that a couple of times and I really like that shade it's definitely a one of those nudes that seems to be very popular at the moment um, and I don't actually own any shades like that so um, that's something a little bit different for me I've also bought myself a single eyeshadow, I quite like the single eyeshadows um, and I've got this in the shade Quarry which is a matte shade and it's actually, upon looking at it properly um, it's sort of like a taupey brown colour, taupey purpley brown um, and very matte it's not dissimilar actually to um, I would say it's a in-between shade of Nuna, um, which is this one here, and Limit, which is this one here. Um, I think it's probably quite close to Nuna, actually, if I'd have actually probably looked at my Urban Decay palette before. I'd say they're really close um, to one another, but... To be honest with you, it doesn't really bother me. Um, I love this palette. This is a great palette. Um, and this is a great single shade. And I've been using this just through the crease um, and towards the outer corners. I don't know if you can see. If I get my fringe out of the way a little bit. Um, but I have actually got it on today. Um, but yeah, I really like that colour. And to complement it, I bought the MAC 213 fluff brush. Uh, which is just a eyeshadow applicator. Um, which I've used today and I found it very good actually it's very soft, um, bristles are really nice um, and it's just to be used to um, apply eyeshadow although I did do a little bit of blending with it and it worked quite well um, that's actually my first MAC brush um, probably not my last because it was really nice, really nice and soft did the job um, that's it, that's it for my MAC stuff um, moving on to a few other bits and pieces. Next up is a few bits and pieces I bought from TK Maxx because I wasn't really sure what beauty brands were going to be in there but I was on the way back from the station and I thought I would just pop in there and see what was available because I've seen 
a few people on Twitter and Instagram saying they'd got some Emma Hardy bits out there and I'm a really big fan of her skincare so I thought I'd chance it and it was one in the city so I was thinking hopefully they would do some better brands um, but there wasn't an awful lot in there but I did, well having said that I did pick up quite a few products um, but they were brands that I've either tried or really wanted to try but they were none of them were expensive in any way shape or form um, so I'll start off with the um, Super Facialist by Una Brennan and I've tried her, I've got her hydrating rose mask, it's like a, a really intensive just moisturising mask that you put on and then it comes off 10 minutes later um, and I really enjoyed that and so I thought I'd give her tea flower deep clean mattifying moisturiser with salicylic acid, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, to target skin prone to breakouts which is definitely my skin um, and I know that she's like a sort of super facialist to the stars and she definitely knows what she's talking about um, so I'm really looking forward to giving this a go. All of her products seem to smell quite very strong um, in what they smell. Um, that's kind of like a little bit like your nan. Um, which is not dissimilar to like the rose hydrating one which is the only thing that puts me off that because I love that mask but it just smells like, it just reminds me of like a nan soap um, and that's not dissimilar. Uh, so yeah interesting but I just thought that would be a good little moisturiser. Um, this was supposed to be 12 99 and for 100 millilitres I got that for 4 99 so 5 quid, absolute bloody bargain. Um, another thing by Super Facialist by Unbrun uh, was the Vitamin C Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. Um, again, I've tried her range so I thought I'd give another product a go. Um, and I'm always looking for some good under eye creams, dark circles, whatever. Uh, with the Vitamin C I thought that would be quite good. It says it helps hydrate, revive and brighten the under eye area. Um, and in this I get 15 millilitres and it should have been, here it is, should have been 11 99 I got that for 4 99 um, The total spend of all my products from here was I think about £27, um, so quite a bargain and I got quite a few. Another brand that I really wanted to try was the Yes2 brand and they do um, different sort of like fruits if you like. Um, so this one is called Yes2 Blueberries and all the, the different fruits have different properties. Um, so I think they've got a cucumber one, I think maybe an orange one, they, you know they all run along those lines and they all do different things. Um, this is the Fine Line and Wrinkles Intensive Skin Repair Serum um, and I got 100 millilitres in here which should have been £26.63 strange price and I got this for £15 which I didn't think was too bad um, I wanted to try this brand for a little while because I know a lot of people talk about this and say I've heard good things so um, yeah I'm really interested to see this and it's got 100% or 99% natural ingredients and at the moment I am trying to concentrate my skincare into natural ingredients. I've said before in the past that my skin doesn't really get on with them um, but I've read that skincare that's natural and organic is a lot better for blemish prone skin so I'm going to go down that road. Um, this contains blueberries which are a na natural source of antioxidant and cotton thistle which is a botanical flower extract so yeah I'll let you guys know how I get on with that. Um, another brand which I'd wanted to try was the Good Things brand. Um, I got the Good Things Blemish Control Gel Mask, which is an anti-blemish oil clearing and salicylic acid um, super fruit extract, mango and lychee. Um, and it says Good Things Facial Skincare has been developed by award-winning beauty writer Alice Hart Davis, using her years of expertise in the beauty industry. Um, so it's with super fruits for super skin, and it's free from parabens, mineral oil, sodium. Sodium, rathru, sulfate and animal ingredients, just good things, suitable fish, cherries and beers. Um, so I think I said in my empties video um, that I had been using a cleansing oil which actually had mineral oil in it um, and because my skin was breaking out really badly I thought I was best to avoid that so I'm really glad to see that this is sort of free from all the nasty things so it's just good things and I have actually given this a go already it's just like a clear mask um, and it went on you just leave it on for 10 minutes and wash it off it went on and it was like all nice and tingly um, and then when I woke up in the morning my skin was just like really really smooth and soft um, I think with continued use this could definitely do a lot of good so I'll let you know I'll probably end up doing a whole blog post on this because I've only used it once so far so it's not fair to judge it just yet but um, this is definitely like products that I love like blemish 
controlling product, products with salic, salicylic acid um, and things like that. I like things like that because it just sort of slugs away dead skin. Um, so yeah, I'll let you guys know how I get on with that. And the last product from my TK Maxx haul was um, Deep Sleeping Progress from This Works. Now I tried, I wanted to try the pillow, I think it's called Deep, no, Deep Sleep Pillow Spray for a little while, but the price had kind of put me off and like sometimes I have a real hard trouble sleeping. Other times I can just, just drop off like the drop of a hat. So um, I did want to try this for a long time and when I saw this, I thought I'll give it a go because it's, it contains the pillow spray and a sleep balm uh, and instead of £10 this was £6 which I didn't think was too bad because I think the spray um, it's not cheap and it's quite a large one so I'll see how I get on with this this would be a great sort of tester um, and if I really like the um, the pillow spray then I might end up getting this for real I feel like I, I've absolutely sort of rushed through this video which is not like me usually I sort of ramble on and I have to like cut a few things out and whatever else and then I think oh my god I've got a 15 minute video um, but the last thing I've got is some GHDs which I actually bought from the Amazon Prime um, sale that they were having I, if you weren't aware I'm sure you were because it was like all over Twitter and whatever else um, if you are a Prime member then they were doing lightning deals all day um, and there were some really good deals to be had on there actually but once they'd been 100% claimed you couldn't get there and I'd want you to order um, a Real Techniques I set um, but unfortunately I just missed out on that um, and then I saw coming up there was going to be GHDs and although I do have GHDs already I've had them for about I'm pretty sure about nine years now I think I got them when I was about 18, 19 I'm coming up for 27 now so yeah sort of eight years ago-ish um, and so although they still work perfectly well I just thought I'd treat myself to a new pair because um, well just just for as and when really because they were I think I paid £69 I think it was only a saving of about tenner um, instead of 79 or 89 something like that but I just thought to be honest with you I, I think going forward I'm gonna need them um, I might just change them over and so I've got a spare pair as my old pair and start using my new pair but I was really pleased with that and I right, have a short and sweet hopefully and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always feel free to contact me I will leave all my social media links down below um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys soon bye bye take care